Christians get confused when a Christian, a born again Christian falls into sin, right? There are many things that he can lose. You need to get this into your mind and you need to study it in the Bible. There are many things you can lose, including your inheritance. But there's one thing you can never lose and that is your salvation. People think there is something called the unpardonable sin. There is no such animal in the world. All right. They say, but oh, look in the Bible, it says there is an unpardonable sin. Right. Blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Study, study the scriptures. Right. One day you're going to be ashamed before God for doubting what God has clearly given in the Bible. You think you have lost your salvation because you have committed the unpardonable sin. There is no such thing. You cannot commit the unpardonable sin today. If there is anything like that, right? It's when you reject Jesus Christ and you go to hell. I know that's not the unpardonable sin, but if at all there is anything, it's you rejecting the offer of salvation that God gives in the person of his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. You rejecting the sacrifice of Christ. That's what you... Uh, get for rejecting it you go to hell if there is any unpardonable sin it is that but there is no such really in the bible as an unpardonable sin right for you to commit that sin jesus christ has to be on the earth and you have to call him a devil possessed man which you cannot do now because he is not on the earth and we do not know him after the flesh so believers get confused about salvation and inheritance and they think they can lose their inheritance for committing the unpardonable sin of blaspheming the Holy Spirit. You can blaspheme the Holy Spirit. It's not going to cost you your salvation, but you're going to grieve him. And if you continue in that, you're going to quench the Spirit's work in your life. And you will become the most miserable Christian ever. You can lose a lot of things. You can lose your joy and your peace, which you think are small things. They are not. When a born-again believer loses his joy and peace, he's like an unsaved person. He's like an animal, really. You know, he has no purpose, nothing. You cannot lose your salvation. You can lose your inheritance. You can lose your joy. You can lose your health. You can lose a lot of things. People say, what about in the Old Testament? You know, the Holy Spirit, again, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. You will be ashamed before God for teaching these things to the body of Christ. Don't you know the difference between the Old Testament and the New Testament? Even in the Old Testament, God didn't work in a uh, you know, set way. He dealt with people differently in various periods of time. God didn't deal with Samson the same way he dealt with David. God didn't deal with Saul the same way he dealt with David. So they say, what about Saul? What about Samson, right? That's why we teach that you need to rightly divide the word of truth. And that's why it's important that you study the scriptures. In